What's up? Today, I'm working on garbage can specials. Look. Troy built stuff. These little lower end small yard equipment thingers here, little piece of equipment like this, is most likely what you're going to find in a trash can because when it starts running bad, uh, people chunk them. That's good. You can get them out of the trash can. You can buy them for 10 bucks off Facebook Marketplace, and then you can put like 20 bucks in them and get them running and they'll work for you fine. Now see, take a look at this right here. You see all this wetness? This thing's leaking fuel everywhere. It's getting air in the fuel system. It's causing it not to run good. But luckily, because of places like Amazon and places like that, you can buy a whole kit with all the fuel lines, the fuel filter, the gaskets, and the carb for like less than 25 bucks shipped to your door. So if you're going to try to do these fuel lines and carburetor, the first thing you want to do is drain the tank. I've already done that. There's no fuel left in there. See? Then pop off. Probably need to get a new air filter. Those things are inexpensive. Then you take a flathead screwdriver and just pull the little bolts out. These things are super easy to work on. There it is. Alright, now you want to take a look at your fuel lines and see where they go. One of them's a return, one of them's a feed. The one that goes to the bubble, the closest to the bubble is your return, and the one that's farthest away from the bubble right here is your feed. That's what your fuel filter goes on. So just make a mental note of that. Let's pull these things off. They don't got no clamps on them. You just you literally do that and then go. That's done. In the tank, grab hold of that return and pull it back through. There it is. That thing out of there that goes to the return and pop the line up out of there and do the same thing for the supply I'm gonna pull all this crap back through out with the fuel filter on it. Now that I got everything cleaned up, I'm left with just two holes in the gas tank. And this kit come with two different size lines. You see how this one just shoots right through? That's not the one you want. It shouldn't be that easy. Because on these cheaper, uh, smaller, uh, uh, little small two-stroke and four-stroke equipment like this, the outside of the fuel line seals the gas tank as well so you want it to be kind of hard to go through there so that i'm gonna have to get some pliers and i'm gonna have to push it let me show you okay the next thing i did i don't know if the camera's picking it up you see how i kind of cut it at an angle that's the easiest way to get this thing in here unless somebody knows of an easier way start pushing it down in there kind of use a pick or a screwdriver and kind of ease it in Damage, if you damage it a little bit, it ain't that big a deal because you're going to cut that off on the end anyway. You just want to get it started through there so you can get pliers on it. Okay, now that I got it started in there, I'm going to take my pliers. I got enough I can get my pliers on it, and I'm going to grab hold of it, and I'm going to start pulling it through like that. And I'm going to pull it out here where I can get to it. Okay, now I got it out here where I can work on it. Remember where I damaged the end of it right there? Getting it through the hole? Don't worry about that. This is how you fix that. Go. You get your fuel filter. And it's just a press on there like so. 
I say like so, it's been difficult. But you want it to be tight. And there it is. You're gonna cram it back in the tank. I'm gonna try to leave enough hose on it to get it a good ways down there. I'm gonna give it a little bit more hose. All right, now I put a gasket on the front, but you notice it's got an O-ring back here where it goes into the engine. So I'm just gonna let it uh, hook up like that. And I'm gonna put this piece on and we're getting ready to bolt a carb on. I'm gonna worry about that return line in a minute. All right, let's try this again. I was about to put that air filter housing on backwards. There we go. And now I'm just going to cut this off like so. I'm going to hook it up like that. Come on now. Now, now you got this piece left over for the return line. Uh, you can put this little piece on there if you want to, but you really don't need to. You just need to have it to where it runs back down in there. Because all it does is when you pump this, it sucks the air out of it and pushes it back down in the tank. Alright, so same with the other one. Get the damage part off where you boogered it up getting in there. You know what, for good measure, I'm gonna put, I got it, I'm going to put this thing on here, just like this. Boom. It pop it on down in there. Then all I gotta do is come right over here and hook up the return line. And that's it. And here it is all put together. So choke and cable, all that stuff's put together. Yay! Supposed to fuel in it, see if it'll run. Yay! So at this point, you're gonna have to prime it up just like if you bought pulled this thing out of the box when it was brand new to get it to work right. So you're gonna have to pump this bubble quite a bit. Okay, there we got fuel coming through there. See the air bubbles getting out. This is gonna be good stuff. That was easy enough right but those hoses get them through the little holes on the gas tank are kind of pain in the butt so i got another option if uh you don't have to deal with that check it out all right round two on this string trimmer it's actually one of them deals it's got the uh it's an edger too and all kinds of other stuff because it's got that split boom job on there but if, i want you to notice too that it's a four stroke so it doesn't take the gas oil mix however the fuel system looks very similar. See it? So if you don't want to fool with pulling those hoses through there, one thing you can do is just get a whole gas tank, man. It was like 25 bucks. Bam. It's already got the lines in it. All you got to do is figure out which one's the return and which one's the, uh, the supply and hook that joint right up. 
Also stay, oh, easy. Also, hang on to the end if you've got one of these four strokes too because it needs an oil change because it's a four stroke, it has an oil sump. It, it's not in with the gas. And there's a certain way you gotta do it and it's super easy. Also, that kit I bought for the blower came with a new bubble. So I'm not gonna change the carb on this one, but I am gonna put a new bubble on it. Which that's pretty nice, right? It came with two bubbles actually. Bam. Now look at this dog. She's after squirrels. She thinks she's doing something. All right, I pulled the oil plug out right here. Let's get it around so we can see it. Yes, yeah, you pull the oil plug out and you pull these three screws out. One, two, three. Kind of stink it off, look at there. The gas tank just falls right out like that. Beautiful. All right, let's look in here. It would appear I can see. It's hard to tell. I had to look through there. You can't hardly see in it, but the black one is the supply. So it's going to go there, and the return is the clear one. It's going to go there. And then we're just going to go and cram it back in. Oh, all these little rubber jobs you got to put on there. And then I'm going to cram this new fuel tank right up in there. Just like so. That was super easy one. I'm gonna put my screws back in there, hook up some fuel lines, and then we'll replace the bulb. All right, fuel tank installation is complete. Well, I guess it's not completely complete because we ain't put the uh, fuel lines on it. Before we get doing all that, look at this bubble. Look at it, you see it cracking? We're gonna pop a new bubble in it real quick. This is super simple. Just take the four screws out and pop a new one in. It'll probably make it a lot easier there, dum dum. If you took this off, yeah, very much easier. The old bubble go out. You are stuck. New bubble in. This bubble is the, it's almost too big. Okay, crisis averted. This bubble was too big, but I had another junk weed eater that I had laid to the side that I pulled the bubble off of. So I will pick some more little bubbles up later. See the difference? Let's get this thing fired up. Crisis is averted. Um, new, no, used bubble on there now. Let's look at the rest of the way up. And yeah. Let's change some oil. All right, I got my drain pan out. What I'm gonna do is pull this plug out. You see what I had to plug out before? I made a mess on the ground because a little bit ran out, but we're just gonna do this right here. Just let it all run in there. It didn't have a whole lot in it, it don't appear. There we go. Most of it ran into, this thing makes a mess. It doesn't matter, it's all out of there. All right, this is the tip off of a bottle of gear oil and a screw right on quart bottles. I used that in my generator video. 
I use that a lot for all kinds of stuff. If I need to squirt oil somewhere, this is what I do. Because it screws right on there. All I'm going to do now is take this thing off. You notice I got SAE 30. I looked up the owner's manual online. Obviously, it's a garbage can job, so I didn't have the owner's manual. But um, it said it took SAE 30, and I had some. So I'm just going to squirt it in there. This is like doing a differential. You just get it, uh, squirt it in there until it feels right there at the bottom of the hole. It said online in the owner's manual that it takes about two ounces. So you can look on the side right here and kind of guesstimate. Oh boy. <clears throat> I'm going to let that make a mess. And then when it levels out right there, we'll be good. All right, now that I got everything buttoned up on it, let's put some fuel in it and see if it'll start. That should be enough. I got gas coming to it. Choke off, dum dum. I got some air in it. There you have it, folks. Those real cheapy uh, string trimmers and blowers and all of the such like that. Don't sleep on them. If somebody wants to give you one and you need one, fix it. It's better than buying a new one. Or it's not necessarily better. It's cheaper than buying a new one. With all that being said, if you learned something today or I helped you out with your Troy built little garbage like this, then consider giving me a subscribe. With all that being said, thanks for watching. Come back and see me.